Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'll show you how can you download offline maps and use offline maps on uh, the field maps app. It's same as in the collector app. If you have any map that uh, offline is enabled for it, you, what you can do is when you are on the home page for a uh, field maps app, you can go on any map and tap on this three dots on the right here, and you will see that you have the option to add offline areas. If you don't have the offline enabled, you will not see this option. So make sure that you configure your map to enable offlines and make sure that your layers have offline enabled and your base map is enabled to be downloaded offline as well. Uh, uh, if you don't know how to do that, make sure to watch the previous video or you can watch how to configure your maps for offline usage uh, in the collector app section. So for the repair map underscore online, we didn't enable this map to be used offline. This map can be used only online. So when I tap on this three dots here to see the options, you will see that I don't have the option to download this map as offline. So you will see the option to download or add offline areas only if you enabled offline usage for this specific web map. So in order to download an offline area, you need to tap on add offline area. You need to configure and make sure you choose a small area where you want to use your field maps offline. Uh, if you choose a big area, it will take a long time to download. So make sure you choose a smaller areas. I won't show my GPS location. So I'm just going to download this area. I don't want to download any bigger areas. And it will download not just the base map. It will also download the features and attachments and anything, uh, including in this specific extent or this view that I have on the map right now. And once you tap download area, it will start downloading the area. If it's a large one, it will take long time. If it's a small one, it wouldn't take at much time. And after it's downloaded, I will uh, turn off the Wi-Fi and the internet connection on my phone and show you how can you use it offline. Because actually after you download this map, one of the things that when you open uh, like field maps app, when you are in offline mode or you don't have an internet connection, you will not see all the other maps. You will only see the maps that you downloaded to use offline. So uh, I'll let it download. And once it's downloaded, I'll come back to show you how can you use it in offline. Okay, so my map is downloaded, the one, the area that I selected, it was not that large, it was just 24 megabytes, it didn't take much time to download, and I, now I can use it offline. Uh, if you tap on the three dots on the right here, you will see that you have the option to remove this area, so you can remove any area you downloaded, you can download multiple areas, and you have the option to rename the area, and sync is used to uh, get all the features that in the database that is not existing on your offline. So if there's any users add any other features in this area uh, and uh, you don't have it on your offline area, you can click sync. You can tap sync when you have internet connection to uh, synchronize with the database. So you will upload and add all the features that you collected on the offline mode. If you click send, sync, it will sync with the database. And uh, if anyone added any other features or any other users added any other features and it's saved on the database, when you click sync, it will be downloaded on your phone. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to enable the airplane mode so I don't have any internet connection and uh, I don't have Wi-Fi, I don't have any internet connection. I know it shows that I have a Wi-Fi on the top right here, but actually I don't. It just, uh, it's a standard uh, showing for the settings on the top here, even that the time doesn't change when I have my phone connected to uh, like uh, screen record it. So now I am actually on offline mode. And if you go back to the maps, as you see, I don't have any other maps to use other than the ones that I downloaded offline because I don't have internet connection. And now I don't have any internet connection at all. I can go anywhere. I don't need any internet connection and I can open the map and you will see that I cannot see anything on the map other than the area that I downloaded earlier. I can see, I cannot see. I cannot see any base maps. I cannot see any other features other than the one I downloaded earlier. And you can see the attachment for this feature. So I selected this feature and I can so, and I can see all the attributes and all the settings. And I can see the attachment for this feature because I configured this map to allow all the attachments to be downloaded on offline mode. So this is how you can view the features 
on uh, like an offline mode also you can edit this specific feature or you can add a new feature as I will do right now and now I have the option to add any features in offline mode I can add a point and I will say I will add my point to be right here update location I can also take a photo use photo and I will add all the information this one needs repair and I will say this one needs repair repaired by repair team and today date is the repair date repair notes all good and I will submit it you have to keep in mind that when you submit this feature now it's actually not saved in the database because you don't have any internet connection if you see in the top here you see this arrows if you you see this uh, dot that means you have something on your phone that need to be synchronized and be sent to the database if you see a dot on the top left here that means there's something updated on the database or someone else added another feature somewhere else and you need to download it so here it will show you what need to be synchronized so when you see this dot make sure that when you have an internet connection you synchronize your data so you make sure that everything is updated to the database so now I added the feature you can add as many features as you want you can add as many attachments as you want you can do any edits for any existing features and after you do all this data collection and when you go back to somewhere where you have internet connection so let me enable the internet connection again so now I back to somewhere where I have internet connection if I go back to the maps you will see that I can see all the offline and online maps but you have to keep in mind that I still didn't uh, synchronize my offline map and you will see here that it say there is one local edit that means that it's not synchronized so what I need to do right now after I have an internet connection I need to open the offline map and say synchronize it's already synchronizing automatically because uh, the app once it detects internet connection it will automatically synchronizing and that's what it does right now but you will still have the option to do the synchronization anytime you want so here the phone app automatically detected there is a feature you collected in offline mode and once you get internet connection it will add it to uh, the database and upload it automatically without you doing anything but you have the option to do this synchronization anytime by tapping here and say sync now or sync if you want to make sure that everything is synchronized so to know if you have anything need to be synchronized or not if you have anything here saying one local edit or anything need to be synchronized you will see it right here if you don't have this message or nothing here other than offline areas that means that your map is synchronized and everything is updated on your phone one of the other things that you can enable tracking while you are offline too and that means the phone or the app the field maps app will track your location while you are on uh, offline mode and once you have internet connection it will send this tracking information to the tracking web app which is something else we will see in the next video but for now uh, now you know how to download offline areas make sure that your web map have offline maps enabled make sure that your feature layers have sync enabled so you can use it in offline mode make sure that you have a tile base map so you can download it uh, in so you can download it to use it offline and when you work on this data offline make sure you uh, synchronize this data after you have internet connection so that's it for how to use the maps offline and if you have any questions please let me know and i will answer it as soon as i can and we'll see you in the next video thanks